Another shooting by a disgruntled employee and his wife in San Bernardino, California, who just happens to be of Islamic faith, has many concerned about the rising incidence of workplace violence. Bob, do you think the terrorists are on to something here? I mean, if they only shoot up and blow up their places of employment, the acts will never get categorized as terrorism. What do you think? Well, they will definitely never get categorized as terrorism by our president. Okay. I mean, it's all about, it's all about workplace violence. Uh, this isn't the only incident where, where, where this has happened. Uh, and, you know, it's, the problem is, is that uh, with this incident, it's harder to hide uh, the workplace violence portion of it because of the already assembled pipe bombs and the 3,000 rounds of ammunition and, you know, so. But, you know, Carl, in fairness, the president came out and said, we don't know what this is. And then the first I heard him come out and say what it is, he didn't call it workplace violence, violence he called it terrorism. Now, he called it that after somebody else called it that, so he wasn't first no. to the scene. But T Terrorism has a very specific meaning in U.S. code. Motivation, the political or religious motivation that has to be present for U.S. code to call it terrorism. You've got to make sure that motivation is there. Until then, any incident, no matter active shooter, mass violence, anything else, is not an act of terrorism until, or at least we don't know that it is, until someone determines that motivation, and that's by U.S. law. I mean, you've, you've got to wait for that motivation to be present or to be seen in order to know whether or not that act is an act of terrorism. Well, it's, Forrest, pretty, we, it's pretty clear, then, that U.S. law needs to be amended. Why? Why? Why, if somebody goes in and shoots up a place of work because they got fired, because they don't like the way somebody looks, that's one thing. If somebody goes in and shoots it up based on some kind of political motivation, then you've got a whole different set of legal protocols to go into place to deal with that. But here's the other problem. Forrest, you know, with a 24-hour news cycle, and you've got CNN, you've got MSNBC, you've got Fox News, you've got Headline News, you've got all of these news outlets, not to mention the, the standard broadcasters, trying to cover this story. They're all covering it 24-7 for the first 48 hours. Is it bad for the president to come out and say, guys, this happened 10 minutes ago. We don't know what's, we don't know what's going on. Because wouldn't he take equal grief if he came out and said, guys, this is terrorism, and it turned out it really wasn't? Well, I don't think this is just an isolated incident. Um, he, he has refused to call anything terrorism. He's refused to label different things what they really are. And he uses incidents like this and school shootings to shove gun control down the American people's throats. And it's, it's, there's no reason for it. Um, you know, statistically speaking, from 93 to 2013, gun ownership has went up 56%, but gun crime has went down 49%. Um, he pushes his gun agenda um, every chance he gets, and he's used this again to make it difficult for law-abiding citizens to, one, protect themselves, and it makes it more difficult to actually go and purchase a gun. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a happy uh, Second Amendment person. I like it. But, Carl, is, don't the, doesn't the right do the opposite? Don't they say, you know what, if somebody in there would have had a gun, this wouldn't have happened? Yeah, and this is one of the few cases where I'll actually have to agree with you gentlemen who, who go with that. I'm not a gun, gun control proponent. Uh, yeah, if those people were, were packing, it probably wouldn't have happened. Or, or if it had, it would have happened. It wouldn't have happened. As, right, right. You wouldn't have would 14 have had far less right. I've got exactly. no problem with people, people carrying weapons. Um, that still has nothing to do with the question of terrorism there. Uh, the distinction between terrorism waiting to get the word out there that it is an act of terrorism requires a bit of investigation before it happens. But isn't terrorism at some level in the eyes of the person? Because I guarantee you those around that community have, were terrorized, no matter whether it was mm -hmm. workplace violence or not. Doesn't they were nonetheless terrorized by what happened. Doesn't there. make any difference. If you're talking about prosecuting somebody. But I'm at, not talking at, about prosecuting. We don't want to companies. prosecute well, these people. You, you, dead. Can, you can use the word any way you want, but if you want to use it in terms of legal response, if, in terms of law, in terms of carrying out the law, in terms of uh, uh, prosecuting someone, anyone who commits an act of violence, then it, got, it has to meet those, those legal terms I, I of understand. motivation. And there's a, there's a legal definition for recession. There's a legal yeah. definition well, for a lot of Well, you can call anything you want as terrorism. I can call my, well, I won't, 
I can call some, anybody I want as, as a terrorist. What were you going to say about but, your wife? No, I wasn't. <laughs> uh, you got to do where you were going. Well, I, get, I get terrorized at home, but I mean, that doesn't make it an act of terrorism, for crying out loud. The South know. Carolina shooter that went into the church and killed nine people. I yeah. mean, if, if they was, was that not domestic terrorism? If, if they established a, a political or religious motivation behind it, then it's legally an act of terrorism. Legally, but do we always have to define things in legal terms? Aren't well, we too litigious? Uh, as a society. Donald Trump doesn't need to do that. I'm telling no, you. It's not a, comes out and calls that's what he wants another to, story. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a, I think the I think the bigger question here has to be how do we how do we try because there's there 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 are so many people on the FBI's watch list. Okay? Right. How do we try to contain and lessen those number of people, first off, so that acts like this are less prevalent. How do we do that? How do we, you know, I mean, do we get, uh, do we get stricter? Do we, uh, do we actually? Does the FBI, instead of being on the on the, the the watch list, actually go and and try to find out information? I mean, not from afar, but like knock on the door and say, "Hello, here we are." Yeah, I have an opinion on that, and my opinion, and and again, it is first and foremost an opinion. So I have no idea that this would work, but. Number one, as, as a society, individuals have to be more diligent. Mm -hmm. The whole see something, say, say something, something say piece. Something. Say something you know, about, a, about a boy who brings a... That's a different you know, story. A and I, 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 Yeah, you know and what? And, I, and, and I, think that's, I think that's crappy, too, dollars. that they're getting sued. But that's a different story. Regardless of how stupid that is, you need to say something if you see something. Number two... We need to get back to the point where we know our neighbors and we, you know, and I'm not yearning for the good old days, but by goodness, my goodness, it wouldn't hurt to be nicer to people and get our heads out of the damn cell phones. Uh, number three, I think the big issue, one of the big issues in my opinion, is the media cycle. Because these guys become famous in a matter of 15 minutes. And in my mind, that incents some people to do these types of things. We've got 50 seconds. Who has something to, who tells me I'm wrong? Yeah. Oh, no, you, you know, I was going to agree with, well, I was going to not agree with you, but I, I was going to actually say something about what you said early on, which was, you know, 24-7 news cycle. If, if they actually reported the news, if you did, then you could call it a news cycle. As of right now, I don't, I don't consider what, what these media personalities do. It's not news, okay? It's editorializing. It's uh, pundits. You know. Yeah, and I, you know, I get. But people look at it as news, even though it's oh, not. I know. I, I people know look do. at I mean, Sean you know, Hannity I, and Bill O'Reilly and 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 the people. I look at on every left, single news, and they say station, they're reporting the news, and, and all the ones online. I mean, I, you know, I have them up constantly at work, and you know, and I can tell you, I, I would almost, <clears throat> well, I'd kill, you know, five ISIS soldiers for a real news. Yeah. story, you know? I mean, I, I just, I don't understand why they can't just report the actual facts that they have. And if they don't have those actual facts yet, say, hey, listen, we'll be back. You know, we're yeah. going to get, you know, that, that's like you sell, said about that doesn't the sell newspapers. That doesn't oh, get, no, get no, the no, audience. No, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't get the TV ratings. It doesn't do all Exactly. Yeah, Forrest, back to the original point. What would you do to stop the, this craziness? Arm more people. Well, I, w I would definitely, um, I would make it more difficult to own firearms. Um, you would not? I would not make okay. it more difficult. And I actually would take it a step further than what Trump said. Um, I wouldn't stop Muslims from coming in the country. I would stop everyone from coming in the country right now until this administration and the powers to be can put a system in that can truly vet people and make sure that the people entering the country are safe. Right and now, we, we can't do that. We've got people coming in from the Mexican borders. We've got people coming right, in from Cuba. Right. We've got people coming from all over. It has nothing to do with the Muslim religion. It, it is, we've lost control out of everyone coming into our country. And Forrest, you got the last word on that. Next up on the flip side, you heard it here, folks. Washington County is first. Find out why when we come back. We're back in three minutes.